Uh, we do a lot of uh, ultra-fast dynamics, studying the um, dynamics of a variety of condensed matter materials, um, superconductors to just metal, ins metal to insulator um, transitions. Um, and we do that with these laser systems and the laser tables. Um, this is a this is a vacuum chamber we made. Um, it's not set up yet, um, but we're going to do terahertz probe, optical optical pumping um, sample at 800 nanometers. And why do you do that? Um, it improves the terahertz signal by a bunch. Before we were doing just a uh, perch box with dry air because the terahertz gets absorbed by the water. Um, but we wanted to do a full vacuum box reflectivity just for the sensitive measurements on superconductors. Um, over here is this is a um, NOPA for generating very broadband um, pulses that we're trying to get um, very extremely short pulses sub 10 femtoseconds. 10? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, everything's kind of messy right now, but this is also a, uh, a frog setup um, that we're working on. Um, this is just for uh, measuring the the pulse, um, the, the character just characterizing the pulse, yeah, the pulse yeah. width, and also looking at the the spectral content of each pulse that we're generating. Mm -hmm. So you will be generating uh, targets in those in this vacuum box. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have this Spitfire Ace, which puts out 800 nanometers at 100 femtoseconds, um, a kilohertz rep rate. Um, and we also have an OPA, a, or a twin OPA, that we'll be able to get a, a wide range of um, output from different wavelengths. Are you going to uh, generate targets with different wavelengths? Um, I don't, not, not yet. We're so far we're just doing the 800. 800, okay. <laughs> um, but on our other table we have a 1040 beam, 1040 10 nanometer, mm -hmm. um, which we'll be doing uh, high field terahertz with too. Mm -hmm. uh, I can show you that. going to go inside the vacuum box. Mm -hmm. um, you can see this is this is where we'll put a zinc telluride and generate uh, high, the, the terahertz field and reflect it onto our sample and then do electric optic sampling over here. Um, but every everything right now is still just in alignment process. Mm -hmm. um, over on this table we have a, a spirit Outputs at 1040 nanometers and 200 kilohertz, and we also have a NOPA on this table. Uh, down there, it's, it's hard to tell what's going on, but <laughs> <laughs> they're setting up a high high field uh, with lithium ion setup. Oh yeah, and we'll be using the Delmar Photonics zinc telluride crystals. Um, thank you. And lithium nitride. No, no, no. We got. We actually got that. From